In the last video, we showed how we could add a combo box and a list view, things that allow the users to select items from lists. Now we want to add some interactivity for those. So this was the GUI that we had set up. We have a combo box and we have a list view over here. And we want to make it so that when we change the selections, that is reflected in the label so that we know that that is happening. So turns out for the combo box, the combo box can work like a button and we can set the on action. Now if I'm going to use on action, I'm going to need another import. E is an action event. Rocket. In order to make that happy, we will have to import scalafx.event. Action event. And what I'm going to do is have the label.text set equal to combo selection equals. And then we're going to get the value out of our combo box, which happens to be stored in a property called value. And we call apply so that we can actually get the string out of that. Let's save. Let's run. Make sure that what we're doing is correct here. And if I select something, combo 1, combo 2, combo 3, sure enough, that appears to be doing what we want. What about the list view? Well, for the list view, the way that we're going to do this is we are going to look for changes in the item that was selected. And this winds up being a little bit more complex. Our list view has a selection model in it, which is actually a property. So to get to the actual selection model, I call apply. And the selection model has stored inside of it selected items. And then I want to register code to occur anytime these selected items change. So on change, as with the other on changes we've used, this is a function that takes a by name argument. So we just put whatever code we want to have happen right into here. Label.text equals list view equals. And then we need to get the selected items which is going to require something much like what we have there. So list view dot selection model dot apply dot get selected items. And that will tell us the items that have been selected from that list view. Let's see if that is happy. It compiles. And when I click on things, I get to see this. Right now, this list view is set so that you cannot select multiple things. It is possible to change the settings on this so that you can hold control or shift and do multiple selections. Uh, but that's kind of beyond what we're going to cover at this point.